Senator Udall. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Chief. Uh, I want to turn to a topic that's familiar to, to both uh, you and me, and that's the bark beetle epidemic in yeah. my state, but more broadly all over the West, and uh, wildfire. Um, in the wildfire management budget, it looks to me like hazardous fuels sees a 24 percent cut, about $74 million. I think this concerns me, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, we need to reduce hazardous fuels, uh, particularly where wildfire poses real risks of uh, water. Storage projects, transmission lines, you, you, you know the list. The Western Bark Beetle Strategy, which you issued uh, last summer, mm -hmm. has a goal of treating more acreage uh, every year. Can you talk about how you plan to meet the goals in the Bark Beetle Strategy while protecting the areas uh, most at risk for wildfire? Uh, yes, uh, Senator. First, um, our request for hazardous fuels is, is the same request that we um, that we received in uh, FY12. The difference there is that the um, um, there's a portion of it that's in, included in our request for um, the uh, integrated resource restoration. But if you look at the funding, it's available in a, the IRR budget line item plus what we have in hazardous fuels. It's equal to what we have, what we received in FY12. So we have a uh, basically a stable um, request for funding. In addition, on the, the bark beetle strategy, um, with our request, it will allow us to continue to dedicate about $100 million um, to the bark beetle um, there in the western states, which includes, of course, uh, Colorado, Wyoming, um, South Dakota, uh, Idaho, and Montana, and, and uh, Oregon and Washington. But we're going to maintain that commitment uh, with um, expectations that we'll be able to continue to get more work done, more acres treated, um, because the, the bark beetles, uh, where the expansion has started to slow a little bit, we're still seeing about an additional 600,000 acres um, infested each year. So we're going to have to continue to maintain this focus for the next few years. I want to uh, extend a thank you to the Forest Service for working uh, in Colorado uh, in response to the call I put forth to uh, allow mutual cancellation of some timber sale contracts. I think that's that's worked well. I hope we'll continue to look for other opportunities uh, to do that. You've helped, as Senator Murkowski talked about her state and in our state in preserving these small sawmills, uh, which provide jobs and, and are a key part of forest health management. Um, we could have the discussion further about timber it's, itself, but thank you for that. Um, there's a new report, your new report, uh, increasing the pace of uh, restoration and job creation in our national forests. It talks a lot about how we expand the market for forest products from our national forests. Can you give us some examples of how this has worked or will work in the Intermountain West? Because this is just crucial. As you know, the private sector is a key to dealing with this epidemic. Well, our uh, restoration report that we um, titled Accelerating Restoration is, is basically a report on what we've been doing the last couple of years. And based on some... Uh, additional uh, flexibilities and some efficiencies that we put into place is that each year we've uh, been able to get more and more work done even though we've had flat budgets. And so that's why we were able to, um, I have the confidence to, uh, to be able to um, indicate that we're going to continue to be able to get more acres treated and more biomass, more saw logs produced um, over the next couple of years based on the things that we're putting into place. I just wanted to, I need to just kind of stress for it quickly, the, the differences that we're making, and I'll start with the collaborative forest landscape restoration projects. Those are proving to be tremendously successful. And, and not only because of the work that's being done, but the level of partnership and uh, agreement that comes together around those, those uh, projects. The key thing there is that we've, with those projects, we make a commitment of 10 years of funding so it's, it's a lot easier for folks then to understand um, that there's a greater chance that that work's going to get done each year, that the funding's going to be there, so it's easier for people to make the right investments in new equipment. The second thing is with NEPA efficiencies. We are learning how to do NEPA on much larger areas across large landscapes. And so instead of doing um, 
doing our NEPA on a few thousand acres. We're learning how to do that on like tens of thousands of acres, which has increased, um, once again, our efficiency. It also allows us to be able to put projects together to treat much larger areas. Our stewardship contracting. It's essential um, that we get that reauthorized. It's just absolutely necessary we be able to maintain that, that tool. When we have stewardship contracts, there is more agreement, there is less appeals, there is less lawsuits, we get more work implemented. Um, the other thing is uh, just our overall efforts on collaboration. I cannot stress this enough, the difference that this is making. We have examples all over the country now where these collaborative efforts have come together. Folks understand the type of work that needs to be done, and then we're able to um, really focus our NEPA on just the, the issues that are remaining, and thus we're able to also um, implement more work. And then the last thing is uh, with our planning rule. Our preferred alternative we have out there is just essential to be able to build on these efficiencies, to be able to have a rule that's going to be cost less, it's going to take a lot less time, and in my view, provide a better framework for our planning in the future. So, Senator, these are the things that um, we're counting on to be able to continue to be able to get more acres treated every year and to be able to, to um, which is going to result in more biomass, more saw timber produced. You, my time's expired. You anticipated my next question. I want to, I want to st uh, keep working with you uh, in your staff. I know Senator Shaheen and others uh, on the committee have uh, biomass electricity plants in their states. We'd like to accelerate the way in which uh, we approve these plants, streamline procedures. I think you just spoke to that, but there's more to do because there are a lot, there, there are a lot of people willing and ready to do this, and it, it also has a national security effect that's uh, yes. positive. So look forward to working with you further. Thanks. Thank you. Senator Barrasso. Uh, 